Hello, I'm the Budget Modeler and this is episode 18 of my Wing Not Wing Sock with Dolphin build. If you are watching this, then if you could give the video a like, that'd be brill and thank you. Today I mainly be replacing lots of small parts, as I have broken or lost them. We all do it. At some stage, we drop something, lose it to the carpet monster, snap a small part, and I'm terrible for doing it. I'm not sure how I'm going to do it at the moment. I'm trying several methods. Scratch, recasting using resin, using sprue glue, or metal. I'm not sure which to use at the moment, so let's crack on. Okay, I'm starting with this wing aileron connector. I thought about drawing around it and then carving it out of the styrene but decided no it's way too small for me then I thought oh I'll make a latex mold I've got latex and hardener so let's see if we can do that I made a little mold surround out of styrene I then put some latex and hardener into it and dropped the piece into it once that has dried I should be able to cast the piece so let's see what happens There's the box made. Let's pop that to one side, let it dry, and look at the part that needs replacing on the rudder. For this part, I decided to use a bit of styrene. So I sanded both sides flat, and then for some unknown reason, I got mad with it. I don't know why, so I put it to one side, changed tack, and decided to paint the wheels. This one had a run, so it needed a bit of a clean up. There's the wheels done. We'll leave those to dry. So, whilst they're drying, let's pop a bit of interest onto the exhausts. I'm using my pastel chalks here, and specifically the orange one. Do I not like orange? I do actually, but some will get the reference, the rest of you won't. That's exhaust done, they'll get a gloss coat later, ready for a bit more weathering. Now, to get on with painting the outer rim of the inner wheels.
that's the wheels done and as the box is dried I think it's time to try some recasting Let's see how we get on right we'll put the latex in add a drop of hardener and then drop the part in I'll leave that to set and come back to it later to try some moulding Now onto some more spraying, but first the masking. I'm masking off a rectangular section just behind the cockpit that's going to be olive drab. So let's crack on and get this done. That's the olive drab sprayed. Now to do the rubber on the wheels. I'm using Tamiya XF85 a rubber black. I think it looks a lot better at this scale so let's crack on and get it done. That's the tyres done. Now for part of the strut there are a couple of sections here that need to be painted black so let's crack on with those. The tips were painted black. I said tips at the back. Anyway, the tips were painted brass and I just made sure the holes for the rigging were still free. Right, the blue on the rudder was looking a tad worse for wear, so I decided to give it a, a clean up. That's the olive drab cleaned up too. Now onto some glossing. Using Humbrol Gloss, here I'm doing the upper wing surfaces ready for the decals. And weathering. That's those done. And as I was glossing, I thought I would do some other bits and pieces. The jockey, the prop, rudder and the cowlings. Then once I'd done those, I mixed up the paint for the bombs, a bit of a mustard yellow, then slapped it on there as a rough base.
Once I've given them a rough base coat, I then applied a couple of thin layers just to give the bombs a bit of interest. So, there you go, bombs painted. Please do come back and watch episode 19, see where we go to next. Anyway, thank you very much for watching, and if you like what you see, subscribe to my channel, help it grow, get the message out there to as many modelers as possible, like the video and ring my bell. Remember folks, stay safe and keep on modelling.